Hello, I'm Frances Murphy and welcome to the first edition of the Kay and Burton Report for 2015. And what a way to start the year here in magnificent Portsea with the rare opportunity to show you through one of Victoria's most beautiful historical properties, the Delgani Castle. We'll take a closer look inside the premium apartment of this luxury estate, as well as take in some sensational views and properties on offer around the coast and in Melbourne. But first to the market report, and with interest rates dropping and an influx of new listings, our experts are already predicting a strong start to the year. Buyers were out in force at the weekend, the temperature rose and so too did the heat in the market. Large crowds lining the pavement at auctions, some attracting up to six bidders. The clearance rate across Melbourne was 80%, up 5% on the same time last year. It's the first real sign that in the short term, the market has come back at least as strong, if not stronger, than anything we saw in 2014. It's a little bit slower starting off, but I think that we will still see momentum coming into the marketplace. And that is purely driven by the levels of inquiry that we're getting, uh, the people that are ringing, the internet inquiry, and in turn, the amount of people that are coming through home saying, what else have you got? We're ready to buy. Ready for an even greater show of hands this weekend, the first Super Saturday of the year with more than 1,260 auctions to take place around Melbourne. Kay and Burton's Bayside office reporting activity in private sales is also starting to build. For a lot of buyers in the marketplace, um, you'll find the activity has been incredibly strong off the back of a very strong December. The market at the moment is being driven by buyers who missed out last year and new buyers buoyed by low interest rates. In fact, Kay and Burton added 1,200 names to its new buyer inquiry list over the past two weeks. Despite this, research by the National Australia Bank indicates prices are expected to soften. So in 2015, we don't expect the same level of buoyancy in property prices. We're starting to see, according to our NAB Residential Property Index, a moderation in those prices. But the good news is, for Victoria and Queensland, that rental prices are actually holding up. One prediction that's worth keeping an eye on is the chance of an even lower interest rate. At NAB, we've revised our RBA rate cut prediction from August back to May. And we actually think there's a 30% probability that a third cut will come in 2015. This is fantastic news for investors because this is a historical low interest rate environment. And with the demand at such a high, it's a good time to sell. The next window of opportunity to sell is prior to school holidays in April, so there are a lot of really, really good properties coming on, onto the market. It is sold to you, sir. Congratulations. Have a big round of applause for them. <laughs> 